Alright guys, I know I'm pretty late. I am pretty late with this video, but it's never too late to show the truth. This is what's coming to Mexico and United States. There is a tiny portion, like a 2%, 3% of all of these migrants that are educated. And if not educated, respectful, that they want to work. But these guys, they want to party. They want to party, have fun, and live it like if it's a fucking vacation. Someone is screaming, fuck her. <laughs> oh my God, these fucking guys are... Ah, oh, dude, this... I'm sorry to say it, but when it comes to words, I'm very direct sometimes. And right now, I have to say, that's some savage shit right there. You know what? That's muy salvaje. That's some crazy shit, bro. I'm just going with the video. Imágenes de cómo los migrantes hondureños y salvadoreños estaban en Ayutla, San Marcos, haciendo fiesta y disturbios en el parque central de la localidad. Esto ocurrió desde la noche del viernes. Entre bailes subidos de tono, licor y otras sustancias, decenas de migrantes provocaron desorden y alboroto en el municipio. Alright, so remember um, yesterday I posted a video where the Mexicans were fighting back the, the immigrants from coming through the bridge to their area to, you know, where they live at. And now the Guatemalans on their side are like, you know what, F that too. If Mexicans stood up, then we're going to stand up too. Why? Because in their neighborhood, well, the people that live in the park right there in Ayutla, this happened. They started partying, like literally partying with drugs, alcohol. And who got, God knows what other type of drugs, but the point is that it, it, it's it's past twelve, and these and these fuckers are over here partying with loud music, like if it's their, if, like if it's their city, like if it's their neighborhood, like if they know the the neighbors. Right here in Mexico, even if you know the neighbors, you have respect for yourself and for them. Oh, you know what? It's uh, who cares if it's a Saturday Sunday? Like, well, you know what? They probably gonna do something tomorrow. Let's stop the party at twelve. You know, probably at one, but lower the music. We have respect. Yeah, there's going to be some Mexicans out there that, you know, what they party, party, party because they got a lot of money and, they, you know, they want to flash off. But nah, bro, this right here is different. Like, these guys are immigrants. They don't live here. They don't live there. And they're over here partying like if, it's, like if they fucking live there, man. And I'm sorry I'm saying so much bad words, but it is what it is, guys. Like, this, this, is, the type, this is the type of thing that gets me mad. I already told my wife, you know what, I'm going to start making that letter. Because someone needs to stand up. Someone needs to talk about this. Look at that. Muy necesitados. So this is the morning now. This is the day after the party. Or the day, that day in the, in the day. And the Guatemalan people are pissed. They're pissed off, bro. Like, what the hell? These guys are just... Think about it. Guatemala is basically like the passing country. It is like it's like Mexico, you know, Mexico is the passing country to go to the United States. But Guatemala is the center where all these migrants come and gather up, unite and then go to Mexico. Reporter just said that um, because of the reason that they're partying, citizens of Guatemala that lived in that area gathered together to expel these this um, individual caravan, this migrant caravan that 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 you know that was found right there. Honestly, I don't know how they're gonna feel about the the next caravans, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be how you think of it and how I think of it against them, cause they're tired too. They're tired too of seeing this shit. There's crackheads that come and stay sometimes in their cities to just take a break and then go, you know, continue their. But 
It's hell, bro. It's hell. Vale, madre. All right, so the, I think that's a Mexican right there too, huh? That's a Mexican right there too. Oh no. So in the Rodolfo Robles, I think it's the same bridge where the Mexicans took them out. Um, now the Guatemalans are helping the Mexicans, I guess. You know what? Yeah, the Mexicans are right. Let's kick these guys out. We need to kick these guys out. We need to show them who's boss around here. And that's exactly what they need to do. That's exactly what needs to happen. Because, si dejan todos estos, you know, if they, if they let all these fuckers start coming without, without anybody saying shit, well, that's what happens. That party's going to go on. And then another party's going to go on. Like, oh, you know what? Los apoderamos de aquí. Like, they're going to be like, oh, we're in charge of here now. Hell no, bro. De decenas de migrantes corrieron debido a que se resistían a desalojar el lugar. Okay, so it didn't become aggressive instantly. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. All right, the migrants. Um, they were trying to hold their ground. Like, no, no, no. We're gonna stay right here. We're gonna pass. So the Guatemalans got pissed. Like, oh hell no, bro. You're not gonna do what you want. And they started throwing rocks and getting down with them. They started, you know, being aggressive. Then. Mientras tanto, algunos decidieron cruzar a México por el río Suchiate, otros por el puente fronterizo. All right. So there's some migrants that crossed the Rio Suchate, another I'm guessing illegally, right? And then there's other ones that crossed the, the, the international bridge between Guatemala and Mexico. And some even um some even uh left to go stay at the shelter uh, to be attended at the shelter. That's crazy, man. I think those are Guatemalans and Mexicans, bro. Mientras tanto, los vecinos indican que la medida tomada era necesaria para buscar la tranquilidad y la limpieza del municipio. Damn. Por lo que posterior a esta expulsión, las autoridades de la comuna y los vecinos limpiaron el lugar, recobrando el ornato en su localidad. So, all right, so after after they kicked them out, as you can see, um, the town started cleaning. Because that's how dirty this shit is. That's how dirty these people are. And I hate talking about, like, you know, I hate talking against people. But, you know, it is what it is, my boys. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing it. We're seeing it, like, everywhere. Tijuana, through Mexico, different states where they cross. First caravan. It doesn't matter. You see this new caravan. You see the bridge where they're getting kicked off. The whole bridge is dirty. They don't care about where they throw the trash. They don't care about what happens. They actually do drugs in front of people, in front of police. They don't care. They don't care. That's why I'm telling you, there's a small 4, 3% of the whole caravan that these guys are actually, you know, caring and wanting to do work, wanting to work and better their life. But the other 8, 95, 94, 96%, they're here to party and live off of, live off of us, man. I'm, you know what? That's, it is what it is. So after, after, they, after, um, after they kicked them out, after they uh, expelled every, all the migrants, Citizens started cleaning up, um, cleaning up the trash, mopping the floors, because that was the only thing to do. I mean, they had left a mess. But that's about it. That's about it, guys. Um, catch you guys later. And oh my goodness, I, I want to say more, but you know what? Nah, man. I think I've said what I had to say. Catch you guys later.